world's most impractical tablet setup. It's Android. Oh. Oh no, it's very laggy. Five billion downloads of Instagram. Oh no, it just restarted. This heatsink is hot. This is a Chromebook, and it's really real, not edited or anything. And Chromebooks are just the worst. Like, they use these pixelated screens, out-of-date processors, and the bare minimum amount of RAM to open, like, three Chrome tabs. But what if there was a better way? What if we took the worst computer of all time, and we gave it the worst operating system of all time? Android. So now that I've thoroughly peeved off 90% of the people watching, let's go do exactly that. Let's make a Chromebook into an Android tablet. So this is the motherboard from an old Acer Chromebook, and here's all the pieces I took off it. Screen and speakers, we'll probably use the screen, but not the speakers. Battery, we'll probably maybe put that in, I don't know. Keyboard, definitely not gonna get used. We've got tape and knife up here, because we're gonna be taking this buy box, and basically making this the entire shell of the tablet. Probably going to be the thickest tablet of all time. Plan is to just put the motherboard in the middle, you know, and then maybe tape the screen to the front, kind of like that. We can plug in our keyboard, which is also a USB hub, and mouse, and have them go right in there. Okay, so this was the keyboard and mouse I was going to use. They're a Raspberry Pi set, I think from the Raspberry Pi 3. But I realized I could just put the keyboard in here and have it slide out, which is way more fun. So I think that is going to be the plan, hopefully. I realized that the motherboard actually has to connect to the bottom of the keyboard, because that's where the plug is, and I don't really feel like sliding out the entire motherboard and USB stick. So we're just going to go ahead and unplug that and just use the Raspberry Pi keyboard. We did some building off camera. I've mounted the screen up inside the box and cut some holes. This one is a dubious ventilation hole. That one should be able to handle our antenna cables. This one lets us get HDMI, power, and USB. So yeah, I think this thing is pretty cool. On the back here, we have the power and charge lights and then an SD card slot and another USB. Here's the keyboard and mouse. And my plan is that they can just plug in, probably get stored inside the box when they're not being used. And that'll just be a good time. You know, this will be the first Android tablet that comes with an external keyboard that gets stored inside the tablet, right? That's got to count for something. And since all the components can be swapped out because they're all held in with tape, this thing is repairable. I bet iFixit would love to get their hands on one of these. I've decided to mount the USB port diagonally, it's slightly less repairability, but it makes it plug in way easier. So then we should just be able to route our keyboard and mouse around to the front. And look at that, world's most impractical tablet setup. But it sure is cheap. And you know what, that's all we care about. So now let's go ahead and see if we can actually, you know, get Android booted on this thing. It's like an x86 distro of Android. It's called Bliss OS, and it's on this live USB stick. So we should just be able to take this power cord here and plug it in and yeah, look at that. It's Android. Here, let me switch into screen recording. Much better. All right, let's explore. Got an apps menu here. I was able to get the internet working. Let's check out my channel. Yeah, this is my video I just did where I installed Arch Linux. That was a pain, but it was really entertaining. And everything went wrong, so uh, go check that out if you haven't yet. Hey, do you like Xboxes? As I was saying, but with more safety this time. Do you like Xboxes? Or maybe chess? Well, then you should get subscribed, because I make weekly videos, and next week I'm gonna be looking at a chess computer from the 1980s. And the week after that, we're gonna be soft mining this Xbox, if it still works. So subscribe to Wolfbike, because I've got some cool things cooking. It's gonna be fun. Let's try Minecraft Classic. It requires a keyboard. I have a keyboard, just doesn't see it, thinks we're on a tablet. If we just go right here, hit desktop site, you can always request the desktop site, by the way, if you're on mobile device. Sometimes it can fix things. Look at that, it works now. Oh. Oh no, it's very laggy. Alright, I just wanted to check how hot things are getting. And this heatsink is hot. Probably does not help that I don't have thermal paste, so I'm using Vaseline. Check out the video in the top right if you want to see how that happened. No, Minecraft, I don't want to share. I want to walk around. No, I don't want to share. This looks like a maybe 20, no, 15 FPS, maybe 15 FPS. I really could not care if my FPS is like seven. I play on Switch, I'm used to it. So of course, Play Store services don't actually run on this thing, but we can get Aurora Store. 
popular apps, Instagram, 5 billion downloads of Instagram. What? What are there, 8 billion people in the world? That is just concerning. 1 billion on Snapchat? 10 billion WhatsApp? I don't think everyone in the world is using WhatsApp. Let's just say 2 billion people in the world are using WhatsApp, that seems right. That would mean everyone owns 5 WhatsApp instances. What? Do you have a whole room just for running WhatsApp? That is actually crazy. I feel like a billion downloads is just almost too much for an app. Although I did just hear this week the Bible app hit a billion downloads, which is amazing. Like, that is so cool. It's tied with Snapchat now. Alright, let's go try some games. Roblox has a billion downloads, of course. My goodness. We'll try it out. Restaurants and delivery. McDonald's. Sure. Why not? Let's launch the McDonald's app. Oh, it's sideways. But luckily, this tablet can be rotated. We just put it like this. And look at that. Oh. Oh, no. Oh, no, it just restarted. Well, that's fine. Wait, but the operating system was booted live. All right, I reinstalled everything. It took me like three different tries. It wasn't installing, but now it finally is, and we can finally order McDonald's from a cardboard box. Look at this. Either I turn my head and look at it sideways, or I look at my monitor, which is my computer, and I have to look in really tiny to see everything. So either way, it's just an absolute pain and a half. We're in the McDonald's app. Hungry? Let's fix that. Order. Share your location. I'd rather not. Alright, select location. I literally tried every city and state I could think of. This thing uh, did not want to order. Well, that is too bad. Chips Ahoy! Daily deals? Sign in or sign up. <laughs> no. So I went to install Roblox again, and it's putting the install dialog off the edge of the screen, which isn't exactly great. How do I install it? Let's see if we can set the screen density smaller so it sits in the middle. What is this text conversation? Hi, Peter. Hey. Want to get coffee and catch up today? Sounds great. I know of a good place not far from here. Perfect. Was this just basic Android conversation? Very cool. Alright, let's make that smaller. Oh yeah, that is unreadable. Look at this. On my laptop, I have to go in all the way here to see the screen. Look how tiny the words are, my eyes hurt. Here's tape dispenser for scale. Now let's go ahead and get Roblox again. Alright, games. Come on, Roblox. Yep. Install. Come on, dang it. Looks like we will not be playing Roblox today, folks. Well, that is the world's cheapest Android tablet. It's all in that little box. Let's go ahead and unplug it. There's no power button. The only way to turn off is to plug it in and unplug it. So anyway, these tablets will be on sale soon for 20 bucks. That's gotta be the cheapest Android tablet on the market. Well, if you want to see me do more weird tech stuff like this, make sure you get subscribed. Anyway, thanks so much for watching. I hope you have a great day. I'll see you next time.